Hi, welcome to Cooking with Carly. Um, today I'm gonna be making a tie-dye cake. Kind of cheating, I'm using cake mix because I thought it looked really cool. And I'm not making my own frosting, I'm using these. Sorry. Um, yeah, the main reason I'm making this video is just to show like how to make the cake tie-dye, not really how to make the cake and how to make the frosting. So I mean, I'll do that in another video and yeah, then you can learn how to make cake and frosting. But in this video, it's all about the tie-dye. Because who doesn't love rainbow colors? I sure do. All right, so for this tie-dye cake, you're gonna need water, the cake mix from the box. You can probably just use normal cake mix if you don't have the tie-dye one. And then you're gonna need yellow, blue, and red food coloring, which came with my cake mix box, but you can just probably just buy normal food coloring. And then you need vanilla frosting, and I'm doing a chocolate caramel frosting filling. So I have that too. And then you need three egg whites and canola oil. All right, so you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Right there. All right, so first you're gonna spray two eight inch pie pans or cake pans, whatever you wanna call them, with cooking spray. So, spray the pan. All right, so now we're gonna get our three egg whites. So I have an egg white separator. And so, we're gonna crack the egg. And, all right, on to the next one. egg whites. Alright, so you're going to add to your three egg whites the one and a third cup of water, cake mix, and two tablespoons of oil. And then we're going to mix it all together. And you're gonna have a nice white mixed together cake mix. All right, so now you're gonna separate the cake mix into six separate bowls. They're gonna have about three fourths a cup of cake mix in each. So I'm just gonna get it all messy here. And go for it, because I have my wax paper. <laughs> Thank you. Good, there we go. And red takes about 15 drops. Orange needs two drops of red. All right, so purple needs seven drops of red, so one. And our yellow is gonna need eight drops of yellow. And our orange is gonna need five drops of yellow, so. All right, and then we're gonna go on to blue. So blue needs 14 drops. And then purple needs two drops of blue. I'm not gonna mix green, I'm just gonna go with my green food coloring because I gave up on the little packets. So I'm gonna go about eight. Go. All right, and now we're gonna stir. So here comes our red. Well, that is a very good red. And we're going to go orange or yellow. I think this is yellow. No, this is orange. We have a very nice orange. I believe this is purple. We have yellow. Beautiful. Blue. <laughs> Dark blue. Beautiful. And now green. So now we have all of our colors and our sprayed pans and we are going to start to make this tie-dye cake. Alright, so we're going to take about a fourth a cup of each, which is about mm, a little less than half. So you're going to take that much and you're going to pour it in the center of the pan and you're going to let it spread out by itself. We're going to do that in the other pan with the red. Alright, now we're going to take the orange. We're going to take a fourth a cup of the orange. And we're going to put that right in the center of the red and you're going to let it spread out on its own kind of. Just keep it right in the center. And let it spread out. 
don't interfere with the spreading until I tell you to. All right, now we're going to take the yellow and do the same. I'm going to pour that in the middle of the hand and let that spread out on the hand. All right, and the green. All right, and now purple. All right, so now it's uneven, so you're gonna have to shake it a little bit until they're even, kinda, and like spread them out. And there we go. We have our beautiful rainbow cakes, and they're ready to go in the oven. All right, and now we're gonna put them in the oven to bake. Bake for 25 to 30 minutes. All right, so first we're gonna take our cake out of our pans. Oh, perfect. And the others. Okay, so now I'm going to use my filling, or I'm going to do my filling, which is going to be my chocolate caramel frosting. And so I'm going to just put a hefty layer of this over my cake. I'm going to do a lot, because I really like chocolate. My boyfriend, on the other hand, probably won't be so happy about this, but he's going to have to deal with it. Yeah, my boyfriend's the lucky one. He gets to eat all of this stuff. We have some nicely spreaded chocolate. Okay, next we're going to put this on top, and I flip it over, and here comes the fun part, frosting the cake. Just going to take a bunch of frosting, put it on top. Picked white because it's a white cake, and it's a rainbow, so I figured white would offset the rainbow the best, and kind of be like clouds. Yeah, because I'm artsy like that. Just using big amounts, because then it's the bigger you go, the easier it spreads. Oh, and I'm not a good cake froster, so <laughs> excuse that. If it looks like crap, I'm sorry. It'll make it prettier, I promise. My least favorite part is the sides, like, it's just torture. You kind of got to, like, fill a little gap there. You just go around, uh-oh, we got some chocolate creeping out. Alright, and to make this cake my own, Going to put some pink sprinkles on it. Because who doesn't love pink sprinkles? And then, going to put some semi sweet chocolate shavings. Because I'm a big fan of chocolate shavings, even if they're not like perfect. I just, I'm really obsessed with how beautiful they look. You know, mine aren't that beautiful, but I still am obsessed with them. I don't know, they just add a little garnish to the cake. Alright, so this is what it looks like on top. Not the best frosted or decorated, but that wasn't the point of this video, like I said. So, yeah. And now for the most exciting part. How the cake looks. Beautiful, huh? Actually, that turned out really cool. I've never done that before. I've made a bunch of different layered ones, but never like this. So, that... It's beautiful. All right, so that's how you make a tie-dye cake. And, well, using a box and a and thing of frosting, I guess. So, kind of cheated a little bit, but you know, it happens. Mm, that was actually really good. Not gonna lie, I know it's box cake, but yum. So good. Bye.